All right, people, here we are once again. <laughs> uh, today we decided to be a little fancy schmancy, all right? We got a beautiful charcuterie board here Chacuri. with some lovely cheeses. And we got some meats back here. We got some veg, uh, no, fruit for veggies. <laughs> veggies. It's green like a it's veggie. It's green like a veggie. It's green. Tomato, tomato. We also got some. Oh, that's a good grape. Tiny oh, nuts. Yes. That's a good grape. Sorry. Oh, my God. And we just, you know, we're just gonna try some cheeses. So is the older the cheese, is it better or is it, is it like wine? I, I think it's, I think the Wait, I don't know that. I, I think, I don't know, I think that's why everything has to get aged. Okay, so. Because the more it sits and all the flavors mature. So your craft Singles probably won't be that mature. I mean, craft Singles, I don't think it's considered <laughs> cheese. Really? Like. Okay. I mean, we call it cheese here, but I don't think it would pass the cheese test. It's oil and yellow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, stop eating. Bro, you're, you're not going to have anything to try for the people. Or the cleanse our palates after the cheese. Gosh. Which cheese shall we try first? Um, um, um uh, this one. That one? Yeah. All right. And just because it's comfortable to me. <laughs> that one is the Ross cow milk. Oh, jeez. So it's already sliced up for us. Let me grab one. Is it supposed to have holes in it? Or Swiss like? Oh, I guess it is, right? It's a little. It's not It's not super Swiss, but yeah, it's not a super solid. Outside almost looks like a root or something. You know, put that. Producer Vic, can you put that close to the camera so that people can see? Yeah, it's so. I, 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 I like that. It's a, it looks like a bark. Yeah, like a tree or something. Well, mm -hmm. you know, this did come out of the oak cheese tree. Oh, geez. a are roaming we, are, cow. Are we going for it yet? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go for it. Small piece. It definitely is strong. Smell it, but... I don't, know, I, I don't know what type of taste I was expecting, but... Me either. I guess because it said raw, I was expecting just some super strong, strong thing, and it's not... Tastes it kind like, of has like a little shine to it, so it doesn't taste like plastic, but... <laughs> no, does it taste waxy? Yeah, waxy, but no. It's actually not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Not but bad. I think it's pretty close to like a cheddar or something. That's what, yeah, cheddar. Sharp. Yeah, sharp, sharp cheddar. cheddar. Like, mm -hmm. you got just a small upgrade from your craft. It's not bad. I put this That's on a my... good cheese. I would... Yeah, I put this on my sandwich. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, I, I like that one. Uh... So we're going to say it tastes like a little sharp, sharp cheddar. Sharp cheddar. So just an expensive sharp cheddar. Yeah. I give it a B. I'm um, going to give it an A. Yeah, I'm gonna give it, it a was, good It was too. good. It wasn't. I don't know what would make a cheese bad. I guess if it just tastes bad. You yeah. know what I mean? It tastes good. Is I'll it... give it an A. I like it. It wasn't strong. It was nice and smooth. I can see myself using this. Yeah. The way that I use cheddar. I get a thin slice. Put it on bologna or spam. Ooh. Or just some cheese and crackers. <laughs> cheese and crackers. Some cheese and crackers. Yeah. It's a Gouda time to try some more Gouda cheese. Oh, okay. All right, this all right. one is uh, Riverway Creamery Indigo Ridge. I don't know what all that shit means, but- I think it's just the name of it. Basically, yeah. the guy at the store told us it was gonna taste like a Gouda. So it's basically a Gouda. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but it almost looks like a piece of chocolate at the end. Yeah, it does. Yeah. That's why I ate it first. But it's not chocolate. It's not chocolate. Mm. Cheese is strong. The cheese is strong in this one. Cheese is it strong. Is. I'm not gonna eat the right. I don't see the point now. Yeah, I don't see the point in that either. But nah, I don't. I don't think I could sit here and eat a lot of this. No, I could. I'm gonna give this one a D, because oh. I'm sorry, not a D, a C. Like it's not terrible, but it's just like I can only see myself probably eating this in this type of situation, like a charcuterie board type yeah, of thing. Yeah, if it's there. If it's there, like I wouldn't buy it myself. No, not even not, not even knew what. It but I wouldn't like. let it go to waste. I give it a B, just because. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay. I'm gonna give it a D. It's trash. Oh, good shot. <laughs> <laughs> y'all missed it. There's a bag over there. He just, it just went did, right in there. Didn't even mean to do it. Okay, yeah. I'll Coffee. give it a D. Where the one that looks just the absolute most disgusting, which is this. The goat. The goat. So it is, it's a, uh, a blueberry and vanilla goat cheese. Are you talking about this slice of French toast? Yeah, look at that. Or is it a Twinkie? Oh. Looks like a weird order. I don't even like blueberry. 
I just want to point well, out. Well, I mean, it, it, it smells like blueberry for it sure. It smells strong. Like you, I can't smell actually, it. I think it's like pieces of blueberry on here. Yeah, that's yeah. pieces of blueberry. Yeah. We're going to try uh, long Just beef. plain. Yeah, 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 yeah just plain. plain. Just plain. One, two, cheese. Oh, okay. All right. It's not bad, though. Not bad. Mm -mm. That reminds me of like Philly, Philly cream cheese. It kind of reminds me of like those, like, necrosons or like those bakeries or like cream cheese. Yo, and then, I went, no, this is disgusting. It's really soft. Yeah, like, like cream that. cheese. Yeah. yeah. Is it, is it, is this just cream cheese? It tastes like just cream cheese. Uh, maybe it's the blueberry. I need a bagel. Anybody got a bagel? Honestly, this is like, like, Cheesecake. It's the blueberry for me. It's the blueberry. Mm. This, oh. is, this, this just tastes like cheesecake. It's cheesecake. Yeah. yeah. I don't eat cheesecake. Oh, okay. It's because you're an American. The cheese itself is really soft and smooth and creamy. It's I just couldn't eat this because that blueberry is so... I don't even taste the vanilla. <laughs> to me, it tastes like a cheesecake. Maybe just a little stronger cheese, like cream yeah. cheese, but it's... it's honestly, yeah. It'd be perfect on, on some toast. French right. toast. Same thing. So, <laughs> can I get... Can I kick this one off? Go for it. I'm giving it an A. Reminds me of uh, cheesecake. I'm not like her. I'm American. I like cheesecake. So it gets an A. Yeah. Yeah. That says otherwise. <laughs> um. I just got that. I just got that. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't here. I'm giving it a D. No, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> I'll give it a C because the cheese itself is smooth and creamy. <clears throat> And I think if the blueberry wasn't there, I'd probably enjoy it a bit more. So I'll give it a C. Like a mango? Just paper towels. No. He, he keeps Who his... needs paper towels when you've got great <coughs> friends? Great friends. But, butthole fingers. Butthole um, fingers. I'm going to give it an A because I like, I love cheesecake. <coughs> love. <laughs> and then it tastes like dessert to me. <laughs> Don't win. Y'all being bitches. <laughs> Nobody respects my freaking criticism. I'm sorry, listen. You Literally. like it? It tastes like yeah. cheese because it tastes like cheesecake. You like buttholes? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all I gotta say. Now nah, I'm gonna throw a tantrum. <laughs> all right. I well, got the farts now. <laughs> but oh, that, I'm actually let's fast on you. Uh, it, it, it did. But let's get more farts in. So we probably should have asked if anybody was lactose intolerant before starting this. Uh, I'm I just, think we all know that we've eaten cheese together. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, you got to deal with that. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go with this one because it's closer. Uh, this is a Mancheco cheese. Mancheco. Mancheco from España. 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 Just wanna. Put a flame to it and see if it melts. So then supposedly once. this was aged for 12 months. I don't know if that makes a difference. Oh, you know what? I wonder when it comes to cheese and stuff and like aged meat and they, let me, let me, let me get this out. Uh-huh. How does it, I, I guess I just, something I should just look up, like how it doesn't go bad, like how we can still eat it. They're probably like, but if I had this in my refrigerator for too long, it would mold. No, because they have uh, temperature controlled rooms. Just, oh. just like when they got, they have the meats too. True, true. Yeah. Right, right. All right, we're trying the cheese. Let's try the cheese. Okay. That is a dry cheese. That's I have fair. never in my life. It's a very dry cheese. Man. Had a dry cheese before. Did somebody, somebody get a Popeye's biscuit and turn it into cheese? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, Yo. Espana cheese needs some chorizo. Yo. I have never experienced this before. This is. Yo, this is a. This cheese is dry. It is dry. Yeah. It's dry. That's what happens when you keep it in the sun for 12 months, you dumbasses. <laughs> Y'all need to, they didn't have no temperature control. I know, right? It's not, it doesn't taste bad, yeah, it's just but it's dry. dry. Yeah. Like, like what would you put this on? With some of that meat. I am eating meat. Yeah. Oh. Like, I don't know if you can have like red wine with this cheese. <laughs> right? Oh, like dry like, your mouth with the red wine. You're just gonna be. Mm. It's a dry mouth. Just dry. Make it so dry for you. Make it so dry for you. <laughs> Popeye's wine with Popeye's cheese on Popeye's biscuit. R.I.P. Anybody. Mm -mm. It'd be funny if like we're secretly or I mean, we are just fucking ignorant about all this, but like we're using all the wrong terminology for like cheese enthusiasts. Right. Some cheese kind of sounds like. I hope there's a cheese enthusiast watching right now going, "It's not fucking dry. It's this." Like, please leave it in the comments if you know the real yeah. words we're supposed to be using. All right, look here, monocle wearing motherfuckers. You don't know <laughs> shit. 
We're just here to try cheese. We're only consumers. Yeah. And I like to consume cheese. Honestly, I wonder if like you melted this and put it on some pasta or shrimp. Would I it wonder if you can melt it, because I mean, it's pretty dry as fuck. I don't think fire would stop it. It would just make it ash. You yeah. Can, you can scrape it off. I'm giving this one a D. I'm, you know, I do, do not appreciate it. Do it. You don't appreciate it? I don't appreciate dry cheese. Also, I don't like that. I mean, there's flavor there, but. I don't think I've had dry cheese, so I didn't, I didn't know I could not appreciate dry cheese. <laughs> or appreciate it. Yeah, I don't know. It just wasn't appetizing at all. Um, I'm going to give this a C. The, the taste was kind of eh, but there's something weird about it that I, I I can still keep eating it. Yeah. Yeah, like it's bad, but it's like one of those nasty bads. It's then when you see a car accident and you just like, oh, like, oh, oh. It's like vegetables. They don't taste that great, but you know they're good for you. I don't know if cheese is good for you. I don't, think cheese I don't know is if I for... compare it to vegetables, but maybe like a beer or something. <laughs> anyway, uh... Did you grade it? I did it, but I see your C. Okay. That's it. I All see right. your C. Okay. Our next cheese is a truffle cheese. I'm gonna try and say this here for you. Smeraldo tart UFO <laughs> Blanco <laughs> cheese Smeraldo Tarfudo Blanco. Got and it. I think what I said was This cheese is from a white UFO. Exactly. Smeared that is earth. smeared with truffle. It's a smeckle of truffle. <laughs> got slapped with some truffle on it. And some, this is a wet cheese for some reason. It is wet. So, uh, you know what, this is great. We're going from a dry, dry cheese to, to a wet cheese. We do need a refreshment. God, it smells kind of aromatic. Like, yeah, it smells like oh, fancy funny. sheep cheese. <laughs> Still got no smell. I think it's sheep, is it sheep cheese or is it? Is nope. It, no, there's a difference. Oh, there's a, there's a sheep cheese out there? I don't think I've ever had sheep cheese. I just cheese. learned something does, does, does the package say anything? I'm like, oh, sheep's milk. Hey, is this it? Okay. Pasteurized. Oh, there's a whole English part down here. <laughs> Pasteurized sheep's milk, white truffle. Try what it says. That's all. Oh, that. So what does the UFO mean? <laughs> anyway, right. truffle it. Truffle. Truffle it. Truffle. Truffle shuffle. Hmm. Okay. I like your reaction. Go ahead, start us off. Lord. Man, that's just powerful cheese. Good, powerful. Like. Oh, I think I just bit to a piece of truffle. Mm. I just bit my, my cheek. Does anyone get like a little ting in their tongue right now? Yeah, it's, it's like <laughs> a little ting in your tongue. It goes ting ting. And then it goes tum tum. No, it's almost like there's like a little spice, but not spice. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. Are we going to hallucinate? No. Mushrooms? Oh, oh there's cheese. Yeah, uh, but what you got on this? I'm going to give it a B. Because I kind of like shit that leaves me wondering. What? Huh? Where? Okay. So, but I'm not gonna give it an A because it's pretty strong. But it doesn't taste bad like a little sandwich. So, a B. Plus, it has truffles, which is in here. It gets an extra little grade for that. I'll also give it a B. Yeah. Kind of for the same reasons. Like, it's not, it's not bad, but it's just strong. Super strong, yeah. But I'm intrigued by the way it's making my mouth feel. Yeah. I've never had a cheese do this to me. So like, I'm super curious of what you could pair this with. What you got in your hands. No, yeah, but I know this is like a bastardized, like... Lunchable. A cheese on a board, but I don't see any other reason what you would use. Okay. Maybe in a pasta. I mean, I guess there's plenty of ways you can use it. Again, there's a cheese enthusiast watching us now going, You pair it with this, you fucking <laughs> uncultured fucks! <laughs> God, you Neanderthals! They throw their phone across. Wasted! I mean, we don't know shit. Look, you said you don't know what to pair with. I've done paired it with everything else on this damn table, including some of the other No, but it's gotta be like, that, that guy out there is probably thinking, you obviously pair it with the 1964. Shut the fuck up, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, he's out there, but it's, I don't know what it is. You ladies. <laughs> I don't know what a cheese kind of store is called, like how a wine person is a. A sommelier. Sommelier, yes, oh. there you go. And uh, I don't know what a cheese person would be called. A cheese person's called a cheese head. They're called a Packers fan. That's good. Packers fan. Packers fan. I don't know where you go. Oh, it's because you're too busy stuffing your face. Mm-hmm. All right. 
Give it a B. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a B. It's just a B. All right, all right. The Swiss cheese. All right, well, out of all the cheeses we had here today, mm -hmm. you ever seen Princess Diaries? It's been so Which long. one was the best one? Oh, uh, Princess Diaries or cheese? <laughs> the first one was the best one. But, but <laughs> from oh, these cheeses. From these cheeses, if I'm going with uh, who gets my A of the day, didn't I give my A of the day here to the, uh, yeah, I think you I did. Did. the cheese ball? That is a surprise because. Yeah. I, I'm I'm gonna give it to the Ross cow milk or simple cheddar. Yeah, it Six. was just I yeah, it just tastes good. Wasn't super strong. It's one. It's probably out of all of them. It's the one that I can see myself mm -hmm. continually eating. For me. I know I gave that one an A, but I, my just the day would be this one. From the dry one. Yeah, because I really like Caesar salad, so I I get already see <laughs> myself you know making it making it with it and um yeah. Like this was a successful uh, cheese adventure. Yeah. Well, I can't no, wait to do this again, but with like... Different cheese? Yeah, more different cheeses. All of like cheeses. Stronger cheeses. All like, I'm, I'm talking about, I want I want a gag. I want something that's going to make me just... Uh, uh, all right. over my mom. Well, at the end of this episode, guys... Yes. When she starts talking about gagging, I'm out. <laughs> God, hey! Hey! hey. hey. Until next time, like, oh God, share, and subscribe. Oh See ya. <laughs> <laughs> <Harder>. <laughs>